Yeah, buddy. Okay, full throttle here. Whoa, all the way over. I finally flipped it, baby. All the way across the parking lot. Holy crap. Okay, full throttle here. Whoa, all the way over. I finally flipped it, baby. All the way across the parking lot. Holy crap. 600 bucks on the Banggood website. This car is 1 7 scale. It is gigantic. So you're watching this review because you want to see the drive test of the EX07. It has a 4082 1900 kV motor on here and it is running two 3S 5000 milliamp batteries. It has an all metal drive system with CNC aluminum metal parts and it is one of the largest RC cars I've driven outside of my HPI Baja. Now, years ago, HPI made the original version of this Honigan style car. It is a drift race car and this car, <laughs> I can't even explain how much fun this car is. I'm not even into street racing RC cars, but, uh, or drifting as a yeah, matter of fact. Buddy. So, uh, this thing surprised me and it was ridiculously fun to drive. So uh, I'd say around the real world testing around 15 minute drive time on those two 3S 5000 packs. Um, I believe we're running up to 6S on this car. And uh, I have to say it's pretty durable. It's almost impossible to flip, but I actually was able to flip this car in this review. So I don't know if anyone else has um, really curb checked this car and flipped it, but um, if you curb check it, it kind of bounces off a curb and the front bumper does pretty good. I did pop a headlight out and just popped it back in. Um, I had some issues originally with my front LEDs not working. You do have headlights and tail lights on this car, um, but my, my headlights seem to come on and they, they go off. But we're gonna drive this thing today and we're gonna have some major, major fun. And man, if you spend $600 on something like this, you expect to have a lot of fun if you spend $600, right? Yeah, uh, so uh, I, the, I have to say that the, the fun factor on this is about 300%, maybe 500%. It's a five-star RC car out of the box. It's ready to rip. I didn't have to build anything on this car. Everything is ready to go. You get a few different packs of stickers on here. You get Hoonigan stickers, you get Monster stickers. It is I believe some type of, I think it's a Mustang, Ford Mustang. So you get some Ford stickers on here. I didn't choose to put the Ford stickers on there, but we have some extra Hoonigan stickers as well. And some Monster Energy Drink stickers. My tripod's falling over. Um, and I got to measure this thing before we go out and drive it. And it's so big, I can barely set it on the desk, but let's get some measurements front to back for you. We're looking at about 29 inches long from front to back and side to side, just so you guys can get an idea of how big this car actually is. 14 inches across, 29 inches from front to back. This thing is a total beast. About 28 inches to be exact from front to back. So EX07, the hype is real. I mean, this thing is freaking insane. So let's go outside now. Let me show you how fast this drift car actually is and how much fun it actually is to, to drift this guy. The, 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 the power ratio on here is huge and it is pretty durable. Here we go. guys let's test drive this car here we go so this is my first battery with the car and we're just going to do some speed runs back and forth maybe a little bit of drifting and see how much power it has so let's go ahead this car looks super awesome oh yeah drift machine for sure I definitely don't want to curb this thing I'm only getting about a quarter on the throttle right here so I haven't even gone full throttle yet. You guys want to see a full throttle donut action? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, full throttle. Right into the curb. Exactly. All right. Almost flipped over. I feel like I can't flip this car though. 
There we go. Wow, it actually left some rubber on the pavement from that burnout. That's pretty cool. Wow. And it does have brakes. So that's actually, that's pretty cool. Different than other RC cars that I've driven before. I've never driven one with brakes. Actual brakes. So cool. Wow. We got to put a GPS on here and get some speed runs on this car. See how fast it goes. Super impressed. So rad. And I'm not like a huge fan of like concrete RC cars. Like I normally have bashers on my channel. Wow. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Almost into the curb there really hard, but the brakes work. Otherwise, without brakes on this car, I think I would totally demolish the front of the car. Look at that thing. Definitely don't want to hit yourself in the legs with this thing. It's pretty heavy. Running two 3S 5000 packs on here in a series. I believe running 6S. Wow. Super impressive. Man, those tires are really good. And it's dry out today. I've, I've seen other reviews with wet pavement and I can't imagine driving this on wet pavement. It even slides around like it's on ice with dry pavement. You gotta think about your next turn with this car for sure, it's crazy. I feel like I could jump that embankment over there. What do you guys think? Can we try to jump this thing? Get a full throttle going and uh, do a little jump. I definitely wouldn't jump this off a ramp or anything, but wow, look at that freaking... Wow, we gotta walk over there and check that out. Woo, baby! She is hot! She is hot. All right, I can't even get it going in a straight line here. We gotta like practice some throttle management here. And I wonder what the range on this transmitter is. I don't think it's super far, but... Let's come over here. There's like a little bit of a lip right here. I feel like if I was to just get it going full speed, we'd probably get a little bit of air maybe. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we try it? Go way over there. Get set up here. There's kind of a curve right there, so maybe I should do it the other way. We'll just do a little trial here. Woo, almost curbed it. Definitely curb check, curb check. Let's try it this way. I, I don't know if it's enough incline, but it'll be fun. Why not? Let me get it back over this way and get a straight up, straight up shot. It's probably not going to jump, but we'll give it a shot. Oh boy. Uh, we're going to jump into the curb first. If I can get this thing to go straight, I got to really get easy on the throttle. Throttle is super juicy on this car. So I'm just gradually going to increase the throttle. Oh yeah, we got a little air there, you guys. Did you see that? That was awesome. Okay, coming from that direction is the way to get a little bit of air. The, the front end lifted up, right there, jump the curb. Oh my God, okay. I don't want to destroy the body on the car, ready? Yeah, buddy. Get a little bit of air there. From this way, not so much, but there's a more of an incline on this side. Well, that's cool. Have you guys seen this car jump before? Woo! That body is super low. That is so much fun. We are definitely putting some scrapes on the front end. Uh, catching some front bumper on that landing. So let's go ahead and set up for another one. A uh, little hop there. That first one we did was super awesome. Woo, a little bit of air right there, you guys. That was cool. Here we go again, another speed run. Yeah, buddy, did a wheelie on that one. Total wheelie. God, this car is so cool. And I, I, you know, the batteries, I wish I had another set of batteries. I'm using the stock batteries, you guys. I'm not using the Turnigy Nanos because I saw some guys down in Australia. Yeah, buddy, I'm loving this little bump. Guys down in Australia, the Kiwis, they uh, also demoed this car and he burned up his stock ESC using the Turnigy Nano Packs. So don't use the Turnigy Nano Packs. Those are meant for airplanes or RC helicopters. Ooh, I really hit the curb that time. We might have some scratches on the body. We'll check that out. 
You will curb check this car. Let's check it out. Any brakes? Any cracks? Got some scratches along the front fender, just adding some character to this car. Yeah, we got a little ding on the front right there from that curb check. Ooh, did I knock out my LED? You know, my LEDs are on and off on the front for some reason. They're not really like, seem to be working right on mine. I have the servo cable plugged in. It's like a servo style cable and, and my front have not been working correct, but it seems that my rear are, the brakes are working. So my brake lights are on, but they don't actually, I don't wanna run over myself. They don't actually turn on when you hit the brake. So that's interesting. See that, they just stay on red. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but that's, that's the way the car does. But that's cool that you have some kind of like red on the rear and LED headlights on this car. At night, this thing would look super beasty. Woo, in a parking deck or something like that, or a lit up parking lot. Yeah, baby. This car is so much fun to ride. So um, one of the things I would suggest is, wow. I would suggest putting some kind of battery checker on there with a beeper so that you don't totally fry your lipo on this car because this guy is drawing a lot of amps and I believe you can really kill your lipos with this power setup. I mean, this thing is insane. So much fun to drive. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this car? <laughs> it's totally ridiculous. I love this thing and I love the scale that it is. It's so big. And I probably have a little bit more battery. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and run it a little more for you guys. Maybe do a, let's do another jump. Those jumps are so much fun. We'll take a look at the underbody of the car as well. Yeah, buddy. And I'm like scared to really, really full throttle this car because I really, yeah, there we go. Full throttle over that side. I don't want to tear it up, you guys. This car is pretty legit. Okay, full throttle here. Whoa, all the way over. I finally flipped it, baby. All the way across the parking lot. Holy crap. Definitely has some scratches on the top. Like the wind caught it and just flipped it right over. Wow, that was crazy. Nothing like a little damage, but no damage to the physical body of the car. I mean, the, the underbody. Oh yeah, definitely some road rash there on the top. Didn't peel the monster sticker off there though, but man, she's still beastie. She is beastie. I can wipe that off a little bit, but we're gonna have some scratches. So the canopy, it just hit flat pavement, but she slid for like a hundred feet before she stopped. She curb checked again over there. Let's check out. One of the LED headlights have been knocked out, so that's probably inside the frame. I'll have to go check that out. Wow. We better check that out before I leave this area because it could be laying on the ground somewhere. I'll pick that up and repair that. But let's check out underneath the car. That's been disconnected there. Oh, it just popped out. So we'll just pop that back in. So that's cool. Those are made to break away. And we can plug this back in. You'll see that they should, they should come on for a second here. A lot of times they come on for me and then they turn back off. See that? I don't know why it's doing that. So, honest reviews, showing you guys the facts here. But God, man, this car is so fun to drive. So the front ones go on sideways like this and the rear ones go on front to back. These pins, body clips, so cool. Yep, definitely a punishing test. And I was worried about this breaking off when I did flip the car. So I got a little road rash there, there, there. A little bit on the front bumper there. Front bumper's still intact. I popped out one LED, just pushed that back in. The door handle popped out a little bit. Um, the tail, let's see how the tail did. Everything's still on the tail. We got this lower fin here, looks fine. It's interesting there's a low fin, but man, it was like an airplane wing. So if you try to jump this car, it will definitely do a flip and probably land on the top of the body. So something to think about if you're trying to jump this car. It's not really a jumper, but it is a ripper. <laughs> so much fun to get air though with this car. Just I just, you know, what happened was, you guys, I was full throttle 
on that berm right there and we just totally caught too much air and went over backwards but how freaking cool was that oh my god so much so much fun burnout city with this car <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the drive test of the EX07. That thing is crazy. I mean, burnout city. It will do really nice high speed passes. It says that this car will do 130 kilometers, which is around 80 miles per hour, which I do believe. I'm going to put some GPS on it. Uh, later, I might actually put some FPV on this car and do some drifting with some FPV gear with DJI digital FPV and my digital goggles on this car, that's what we're gonna do next with it on the channel. But if you would like to pick up this car, you can check out the link down below. That will benefit the channel. I'll get a little kickback on that and that would be super awesome. Please also subscribe if you enjoy my videos because I don't do just FPV race drones on the channel. We're called drone camps, but we do everything. We're kind of like RC camps. We do RC cars, airplanes, we do helicopters, we do monster trucks uh if it's rc we do it here on the channel so if there's anything that you would like to see coming up you can check out the banggood website or any other hobby site out there in the world and let me know the product that you want to see me review bash and give a durability test to because i will definitely try to give you an honest opinion and we'll have some fun here on the channel too so i'm justin davis guys Thank you so much for watching and subscribing over the years. Please do click subscribe and that notification bell down below so you can find out when the new RC videos and reviews come out on the channel. Always new stuff coming up. Guys, take care, stay humble and be kind. I'll see you on the next one.